Research complete. Hello friends, my name is Pradeek Kumar. Let's start a new topic about how we can interlink LabVIEW with PLC. Okay, now I am using Allen Bradley PLC because I am uh, now research complete about how we can interlink PLC software Allen Bradley with LabVIEW. Okay, okay. Now uh, first you need to this requirement fulfill this requirement. First LabVIEW software, second RS Logic 500. Okay, then third one is RS Logic emulator because this is an emulator depend upon this PLC. Okay, this software okay because uh, help of emulator we can see about the output or input what's going on in plc okay if you have a hardware then no not need to this one okay then uh, last one is rs linux classic it's very important because help of this uh, have a opc server okay uh, in this uh, software we can energize opc server okay help of that we can easy to interlink with live view okay it's very important okay and the last very important is uh, you need to activate your all software fully activate okay if you have trial version then you face lots of error not easy to interlink with live view okay that's why uh, your all software is fully activated okay okay and uh, now i'm trying uh, with alm bradley software okay this all plc software is alm bradley okay because now i uh, recently completed my research about this that's why i'm uh, able to uh, make a video in this uh, uh, in this software okay if you have a other like uh, mitsubishi or a siemens then you need to research little research about the opc server okay because help of opc we can easy to interlink with labview okay now let's start after that you can easy to understand what's going on okay and in the last in this video i am telling you about how you can uh, search with the other plc also okay first it's very important uh, please activate your all software then uh, try to uh, run this program okay now first live software this is my live software okay you already know then open the rs logic 500 plc and you see i already open it you see this is our rs logic 500 okay now i already, I already open okay the third one is you need to rs logic emulator okay and uh, okay this is my rs logic emulator 500 okay the fourth one is rs linux this is rs linux okay help of this we can easy to interlink uh, emulator as well as plc hardware also okay if you are connected with hardware with your plc then you need to verify your hardware like you see this is uh, our uh, ip address of different plc but now it's not connected that's why it defines cross sign okay okay you need to this software okay after that's activate then uh, let's start okay okay first what to do open your plc software this is my plc software okay let's start a simple logic that is on and off our led okay now uh, how we can do this okay now what we do okay now uh, click to program file right click here and create a new new run okay i am enter here i'll have you okay and click to okay okay you see uh one run uh, is created here okay live you okay you see okay now let's start here okay first what we do increase the size okay double click here okay now uh what you do first create a bit drag here this is input and this is output okay now uh, you need to enter uh, address here this is input that's why you see have a data file open this and uh, you use like 0, 0.0 okay this is like 0 slash 0 and this is 0 slash 1 now we need 0 slash 0 okay then what you do copy this tag and paste here okay now you see live you on i already uh, enter here comment live you on you can easy to change it okay then uh, need to output here then you see have our output data file open this 0, 0.0 copy this clause and paste here okay okay now, guys uh, now it's complete okay then you need to one instruction that is jump to subroutine and enter your uh, like uh, program file routine now you see have a led 3 means letter 3 that's why i am enter here u3 okay all fine 
then uh, click to compile okay let's see you see verify has complete no error okay now what do you do save this okay okay i already saved okay now what do you do follow step by step otherwise you face error okay now open your rs linux okay and click to communication configure driver okay uh, drag this and you see have a emulator driver also otherwise if you have a plc then you can use ethernet ip okay now i am using emulator that's why select as lc 500 open this and click to add new okay zero zero okay then you see it's on run, uh, running condition you see okay it's a running okay now close this and you see have emulator okay workstation but uh, right now no uh, define here your plc uh, software okay now what you do open your rs linux emulator okay now uh, click to open and you need to select your uh, this file name or live you rs logics 500 okay because now i'm saved uh, in this name okay now let's search it and uh, i'm save on this location on programming and have a okay you see live view interlink this one okay you see this file saved on this location open okay and i enter here zero okay zero is duplicate then enter one okay all done then click to run okay and you see uh driver is uh visible here unlimited okay okay micro logics one one zero zero okay now uh it's interlinks it's successfully interlink okay okay now, okay, now what do you do uh, click to go online okay and you see now again click and click to run yes you see it's on running condition okay now open your uh, program you see this is your input and this is your output okay now again open your rs linux okay and you see have option dde opc it's very important because help of this we can interlink with our lab view okay open this opc okay and uh, please note if you have other plc like uh, uh, we can say siemens okay mitsubishi okay that's time you need to uh, find your opc server in your software okay help of that you can easy to interlink in same way okay okay now click to topic configuration okay and you see have a lots of opc server i already made but right now i am click to new create a new now i'm click to new and i am enter here youtube youtube okay youtube and you uh, and you see are you sure you want to update topic youtube okay but uh, i'm click to cancel okay because you need to select your plc so okay now you see uh, open this and this is my plc now click here and click to this one and click to yes okay now it's uh, link to each other then click to done okay all, all done okay now what do you do minimize this okay now all done now create a programming in your lab view okay let's come right click here click to boolean and create any switch now i'm uh, choose push button drag here okay and increase the size <coughs> like this okay and right click here click to uh, boolean and create a led okay and drag here like this <coughs> okay all done now what do you do control t and first you need to connect to this one okay okay now let's start it's very important okay now right click here uh, right click to your switch okay and first uh, select mechanical action okay you can choose as per requirement but right now i'm uh, choose switch when pressed okay now next click to properties okay and click to data binding okay and select drag this and select data socket okay and choose anyone read and write as per comment okay click to browser and you see how it's option dstp open this okay when you click to open after few seconds it's open and you see if your plc have opc server then uh, show here you see this is rs linux opc server it's my alan bradley name or a software name rs linux okay if you are using other plc have a different name okay but in my case rs linux opc server okay you see you see this is my rs linux software okay help of this have a opc server 
okay that's why okay now open this and you see have a, a lots of opc i already uh, created but right now have a youtube search it yes you see youtube open this and have a two option it's offline and online now my plc is online with emulator that's why I click to op online okay have this is uh, your data uh, sorry this is your data files okay you see i already told you about input and output status binary okay we need to input okay then you see uh, find i1 okay c1 and you see how uh, this is your pins okay now i am choose 0, 0.0 click to okay and you see have a 0, 0.0 but i need to modify it because 0, 0.0 means have a full bit okay but right now what do 0 slash 0 okay why i'm choose this one uh, let's i'm um, telling you about it okay uh, open uh, input okay and you see when you click to zero input zero pin then you see how this defined zero slash zero okay if you are select whole bit okay this series whole bit zero to fifteen then you see zero point zero okay that's why i am choose this one only zero pin okay that's why we need to zero slash zero okay <clears throat> okay then uh, click to okay okay it's done and you see have a small dot here it's define your plc connected with live view or not now you see it's unconnected okay because live view is not running condition okay all done now let's or uh, click to run your program okay uh, first you need to uh, create a loop also right click structure and while loop okay again right click here and create a stop create a control it's your stop button okay help of this you can easy to control or turn off your program okay okay now let's try to run your live view project run and you see now it's green and you see active connected to opc server okay it's amazing okay now let's try to run it when i click to press switch in live view and you see plc automatic turn on okay it's amazing when turn off it's turn off it's fully interlink with plc okay amazing okay you see you can do anything okay, okay guys this is our first tutorial after that we make uh, another new that's modify using a time or like this okay this is a new series okay you can visit on playlist okay now you see it's amazing okay now i'm telling about uh, if you have a uh, other plc like uh, mitsubishi siemens okay then you first you need to search about opc server where is your opc server in which software because in alan bradley have a uh, in this software rs linux classic have a opc you see that's why you need to open or research on your plc okay or a manual about uh, your uh, like mitsubishi if you are using mitsubishi then you you need to find opc server yes. okay then because i am recently uh, research on this alan bradley okay that's why i'm going to uh, make a video okay okay guys if you like this video please like and subscribe to the channel thank you so much guys